ebooks it's called ebooks so indesign can use for this purpose it's very easy software and uh, like the people who know photoshop and illustrator it's very easy to learn okay there are some number of techniques that you have to follow to design books and uh, in brochures also you can create here even cvs also you can create here and uh, ebooks you can design it's not for editing images for editing images and vectors and other things we have photoshop and illustrator like when you create a new file here sure create new file you can see like it's recent saved print web and mobile okay, web templates also and mobile templates also you can design here okay but not like uh, illustrator and photoshop other tab we don't have like illustrations or other tabs you know so saved you can see whatever you save here in print you can see like different dimensions a3 a4 <coughs> and other dimensions in web you can see like web template dimensions and in mobile you can see mobile devices dimensions so we will select print and a4 you can select from the <coughs> different units like points picas inches millimeters centimeters ciceros agatas and this one pixels there are different mm -hmm. okay so we will select in start like inches for example pages you can select like one and it will start with page number one like you can select even 10 pages 20 pages okay and uh, columns one this is the most important also you can make like 12 columns also here direct which we uh, use there you know in illustrator you remember yeah. we did 12 columns so here you can select 12 columns also but in start we will select first column and then click on create <coughs> now some keyboard shortcut keys are same as uh, photoshop and illustrator okay in windows you will use control plus minus for zoom out in mac you also use mac okay it's just only command difference so you will use control plus minus for in windows and control plus plus for zoom in and here it is command plus minus command plus plus it's same interface no difference okay same when you will try you will see it same interface Now here you will use control plus D the main now the thing control plus D to place the file like we open images in Photoshop control plus so or we use also place embedded or place linked in Photoshop in Illustrator also we have an option here you will use control plus D okay <coughs> command plus D <laughs> Password manga So it's showing place. So when you place a, any image, see it will show you see where you want to place. Okay. So when you click place. You can see it's like this. Or it's D 
different from Photoshop and Illustrator, you can see there this circle also. And in InDesign, we have frame actually. So we have frames, frame. When you place anything, it plays in a frame. Right now, it's you can see in a frame. This one is a frame. See when you change the size, same Alt plus Shift like this see it will change proportionally but after changing you can see it's like this so you can move this one with selection tool same thing now here on top you can see five options which are important fill frame proportionally fit content proportionally is it easy to see uh, sure this is fit content to frame fit frame to content and center content like if you click here fill frame proportionally so this frame will be fill proportionally see and this one is fit content proportionally so see for example it's like this fit content proportionally see still you can see there is space for top and bottom because in design things that it will not fit proportionally if it will fill from top and bottom this one is fit content to frame so it will now it will fit but it will not proportionally see the next one is fit frame to content like um, frame is like this for example so fit frame to content see frame will be in the content and this one is center content for example it's like this now we need in the center of the frame see. Okay. so these different five options you can use fill frame proportionally fit content proportionally and fit content to frame fit frame to content and center content what is this for example when you move with selection tool this tool just like photoshop and illustrator object by itself moves you got my point but when you see move the mouse cursor here you can see hand tool will active now what will happen the image will move inside the frame see frame is still there okay so this every point is very important okay which i am teaching you every point is very important to design books So you can see it's not in Photoshop and Illustrator like this, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. In design has frame no. Transform is there actually, but it's a frame. Transform control is still there. Exactly. Same alt you can use to make duplicate. We have layers panel also just like Illustrator. You can see their layers. Same delete button on backspace or delete on windows you can use to delete the object now you can see there it is like in photoshop illustrator we have these shapes rectangle tool ellipse tool polygon tool which are normal shapes but in this software we have rectangle frame tool ellipse frame tool and polygon frame tool so when we place any image it plays like according to the dimension of the image like it was a rectangle which we placed 
before this. Okay. For instance, if I create a frame with ellipse frame tool, if you press and hold shift both in Windows and Mac, so it will be a circle. If you don't press and hold shift, it's like oval or something, ellipse. Now you can see it's like this. So it's easy to place any image inside the frame. Okay, it's not easy in Photoshop and Illustrator. Still, you can place, but you have to do lots of things. Like you will make first a selection, then you will copy from there, then Control Alt Shift V and uh, paste in. In place, we can use exactly. But here, see, Control D. You will use simple and see place same image you can see it will place there then you can use fit this one uh, fill frame proportionally and then you can move the image according to your requirements see. then we have polygon frame tool also like this and when you place command B you can see it will place like this we can polygon frame tool press and hold shift and then click polygon width like uh, 5 and height 5 inches and then number of sides 3 try again so, then control D These are shapes, simple, rectangle, ellipse, polygon, but very important shapes. These are actually when we are designing books. So you can see, I will show you the examples like background, you know, in books. So this is a rectangle. You can see, you can fill from here. Like these colors you can use, but if you want to use another color, then you can see it here also like Photoshop Illustrator, Fill Color and Outline Color. So just click here and you can see. <coughs> you have a good one. Okay, this one. And this is Outline Color Black. So you can increase this Outline Size and Outline Style also. You can change. So, okay. And then we have same shapes ellipse tool and polygon tool. Like this. And we can fill and We have direct selection tool also here just like Illustrator and Photoshop so we can change the position also. Okay. Text tool is different here like in normally in Photoshop Illustrator you click and it start typing but if you click here see it will not start typing. So here you will have to create a frame first. Now in this frame you can type okay. See now frame you can increase from here and see if you want to change the size of text you can select from here you can increase now you can see it's outside of the frame. 
if you change color from here it will not change the text color it will change the frame color see so you will have to double click here and then control a to select and now you can see t is appearing so now it will change the text color you can change from here or still you can change from there so from here you can change the font family and uh, if, if there is italic bold available for that particular font you can change for example it's calibri so you can see there is available regular bold italic everything you can select Okay. So you try these things in the design then involve